Alright, let's talk to Owen for the last Myrmidon fight. Another high elf has been taught the meaning of humility thanks to the blue team's number one warrior. You really earned your keep this time. Oh wait, was I a warrior already? Let me check it out. I am a warrior. Ah, so it was the first fight. Yeah, I remember. One more match is all you need to advance again, up to gladiator rank. Most combatants never make it that far. But you're the exception, aren't you? Only one more? Okay. Um... I'm ready, I guess. Your next opponent is the most savage, blood-crazed orc I've ever seen. And believe me, I've seen a lot of them. This will not be fun. She'll come out of that gate with a warhammer the size of a child, and she'll swing it until your head explodes. Don't let that happen. Well, he's getting better at selling my opponents. Getting me more afraid. For a minute there, I was thinking he was talking about him but he's a grand champion so we're not ready to face him yet okay so if we win this one we'll ascend to gladiator oh yeah what I need to remember is that I have a frost touch spell and a protect spell that might come in handy and fire so maybe I should use that and for healing my my potions really because my healing spell doesn't do much for replenishing my health so let's just set it to protect let's use it right away and then switch to what is that five touch seems like a good one since we're fighting in close quarters good people of the imperial city welcome to the arena. This is an important match, for the winner will advance to the esteemed rank of Gladiator. So, without further ado, let the battle begin! Alright, let's move. Switch it up. This is the down and Too late. To death. Doesn't do much damage. She is using glass, a glass hammer. She's incredibly slow though. So that's in my advantage. Maybe. I should use fire instead. Oh, that's a miss. Okay. Let's not get hit. Oh, that's another miss. Let's heal up. Just stay out of the way. Okay, this isn't going well. My protection spell is worn out. I'm going to bleed slow. Keep your distance. Crap. Oh, don't get hit by that. Oh, she's healing. Okay, this is this is bad. Die, Carl. Can't use another healing potion at this point. The game won't let me because it isn't quit. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Can, of course, pause the game. It is still in there, right? Or it ain't. Let's use one right away. Potion of healing. Alright. Not enough magic anymore. Finish her off. Almost. 
Ah! Come on. Die, Imperial. Die. You die. Careful. That glass hammer. He's a feisty one. From the blue team, leave the arena now All right. and rest. There definitely you was the toughest earned. fight yet. At least I got promoted now to Gladiator. Thank God that is the, the right door. I don't know how many levels this arena has. I'm thinking at one point I will face the yellow team yellow grand champion. Yellow team champion and then him. But I can't be fighting him yet because I still have a quest for him to do. But let's see, let's first get to him before anything else. Alright. My weapon looks a little bit worn. Yeah, it needs re repair, definitely. There we go, let's uh, go for another Raymond, why not? Four left. And I can't repair them, so that sucks. Um, move that out of the way. Equip it again. And let's advance. You hit that orc so hard, her mother in Orsinium started bleeding. That victory advances you to the rank of gladiator. Enjoy the gold. Finally, I'm real gladiator now, like Russell Crowe. So, what do you have to say about that woman? So it's gladiator now. Oh, I do long for the day when you can prove your true worth to me in the arena. Until that day comes, you are nothing. Well, that day is coming, woman. Not sure how fast, but it's coming. You did it! You made it to gladiator rank. Same as me. Here's to a long, successful career, my friend. Aha, uh -huh, he's a gladiator as well. I thought it was just his job, but it, of course it is rank. Alright, so we might fight together. Farewell, my friend. May your know. blade always strike true. Yes, and first. <laughs> sure. So I'm gathering a lot of money by now. 2,500 gold. I can buy a lot of stuff. Spells, weapons, books. I definitely need to come back to the marketplace once I'm done or stuck here. Let's talk to Owen. Gladiator. It's not very often I get to call somebody that. You're doing the blue team proud, kid. Now go kill somebody before I get all weepy. I'm ready. Listen up. This next match is an outrage, but there's nothing I can do about it. You've got three opponents this time, and you have to beat them all. They're Argonian prisoners brought here from Black Marsh. They've been told they have to kill you in exchange for their freedom. I don't know what crimes they committed, but it's your life or their freedom. The choice should be pretty clear. Get going and watch yourself. Three guys, really? At least he says it himself that it is unfair. How am I going to do this? The two sisters I defeated at, what was it, Brawler rank or was it uh, Bloodletter? Uh, they were quite easy to defeat. But now, what will be my strategy? Of course, I need to keep myself protected at all times. I have some Magicka spells. Restore Fatigue, Sorcery. Don't have much anymore, but still. There is a chance. Let's get ourselves to the arena. Crowd is cheering. Spaniard, Spaniard. Good people of the Imperial City. Three. Welcome. 
It looks like the yellow team has pulled a fast one by replacing their combatant with three Arconian prisoners. This should be interesting. This should be unfair. Why can I? My teammate ready. Okay, they're all coming at me. Oh, crap. Two. With hands and fists. Oh, this is crazy. Just slashing away. Oh, man. Okay, this is not going well. Uh, healing, healing. Get some fatigue back. Why not? Let's use my items. Sorcery, I got plenty. And what trick should I pull? I should use my cold touch. Or shocking touch. This does 15 damage. Let's protect it right... Equip it right away. I also have a flash bolt and chameleon. Fire damage. Nah. Alright. Oh crap. I really should be focusing on one, but it's so hard to maneuver. Ah, come on. Okay. Anything left? I think I'm about to die here. Weak potion of healing. If I only could kill one, maybe the fight would be easier. What if I apply this to my sword? And just hack away? Come on! And then just keep our distance. Heal ourselves like crazy. Show me what you've got. This one may be poisoned. Okay, one is almost dead. Okay, they're healing themselves. This is unfair. And I'm dead. This seems like a fight I can't win yet. And I won't think I will be doing it again. Until I become stronger and find better weapons. I guess we've come far anyway, so it's not a shame. We've got our items back now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, at this point I don't think retrying would be a, a better ID. Maybe... 10 times in a row I will be able to defeat them but I, I'm not in a haste so I'm not in a hurry so I, I, I think I'll come back later once I uh, leveled up a bit although these Argonian uh, prisoners level up as well but at least I might have a better weapon when I come back and some other skills and traits I can use maybe more potions um, because yeah if I feel like when I have 30 potions or something, I can easily do it because you can pause the game at any time and use the items from the menu. Uh, but yeah, at this point, I'll just leave it where we uh, where we are. Gladiator rank. That's how many fights did I win? 15. 15, if I count correct. You got pit dog. Brawler, Bloodletter, Myrmidon, and Warrior. Alright, and now I've got plenty of money. 2500, so... What time is it? 12 p.m. Let's just call it a day. And come back later. And uh, at least... Be glad with our victories. I'm still wondering though, if you uh, at one point can fight with your own team member, the Blue Gladiator. Because it definitely would be fair at this point. 
Oh yeah, maybe we can bet on a match. We didn't do that yet, so let's try it. We got plenty of money this time. Don't you have a fight scheduled? I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to bet on your own match. You'd best get into the arena. <laughs> oh, my fight is underway, huh? You can bet on either the yellow team or blue team. For each fight, you can bet 25 yeah. if you win. I know that already. Okay, I guess I'll come back later. Have a good day now. The fight can wait for as long as I want to. Uh, all right. So, where to go next? Let's make a plan. I think I'm heading back to the market district to uh, to shop, why not? And maybe even buy the necessary healing potions and just come back here. For now, I still have my stupid battle raiment on. Um, should I keep it? Should I ditch it? You know what? I don't really need it. Let's just keep it over here. Let's just put it right somewhere over here. Oh. Put my other shit on. And... Oh yeah, I can... Repair it later. So back to the market district, which is... Which way exactly? Might be the correct way already. Leads to the green way. Alright, we need to go this way. So a little pause from fighting. To go back in the wondrous sights of the city. Mark district, right? Yeah. Who are you? A Mencius Electus. Have I met you? At this point, I don't really remember which person I met him, which I didn't. I think someone is watching me. I see figures in the shadows all the time. I know it's all in my head. I'm spending too much time on my latest project. But enough about me. What can I do for you? Tell me about your project. I'm here in the city for access to the temple libraries and for the bookstores, especially the first edition in the market district. Yeah, I've been there quite some time. The Tiber Septum Hotel is a nice place. It's not cheap, though. I've heard that before. All right, good day. Bye. And the first edition, huh? I think I'm going back there. And uh, why not right now? And I got some uh, stuff to sell because I still want to read some books. And so maybe it's a nice. Um, you know, we've seen plenty of action right now. Maybe some reading will do. I think I still need to buy and read three or four books from the book uh, oh, storekeeper. So yeah, let's acquire them and let's do some reading. Hello, good man. What? Here I am again. He must be uh, tired of me because the last time... I was in here for way after closing time. The Imperial Watch seems all Yeah, enough about the rumors. What can I interest you? Well, I've got plenty of money this time, so what books I didn't read yet? Cleansing of the Fane document that's not a book. Fundaments. I need another guide to the Imperial City because the other one got comprehended by the guards. So let's buy that one. History of lockpicking, I've read that one. I've read this one. I've read a lot, the Argonian account, book four. Haven't read that one yet, but I don't know where book one is yet, so the Armorer's Challenge is a book I didn't read yet. Any others? The Waters of Oblivion, quite expensive though. The Wolf Queen and the Wild Elves. Should I? Yes, why not? I can always sell them again at half price, but still. There we go. I think I've got all the books he sells. I've read all the rest. I've read a lot already. All right. Thank you for your business. Good day. 
First, I want to get that guy to Imperial City opened again because I want to say what she says about the arena because by that time my book was gone. Uh, Temple Arboretum. The arena. I will not tell you about this place for you have no need to visit it. I did. Only idle or foolish persons come here to throw their money away on games of chance or to spill their own blood when they would better devote themselves to exterminating the armies of robbers and beggars that swarm in the streets. May the nine bless you and keep you. Mm, yeah, I've already been there and I've made a lot of money, so... Screw your advice. Okay, so I've got how many books to read? That's three at this point. Let's start with the cheapest one. That would be the Armor's Challenge. It's a skill book, of course. Not of course, but it comes in handy because I paid money for it, so seems like a wise decision to buy it. How long is it? Nah, short enough. The Armor's Challenge by Mimf My Mimophonus. Can't even pronounce the first word. Or one of the first words. 300 years ago, when Kteria became Empress, the first and only Dunmer to rule all of Tamriel, she faced opposition from the Imperial Council, even after she convinced them that she would be the best regent to rule the Empire while her husband Pelagius sought treatment for his madness, there was still conflict, in particular from the Duke of Fangido, Thane Minglumir, who took a particular delight in exposing all of the Empress's lack of practical knowledge. In this particular instance, Kataria and the Council were discussing the unrest in Black Marsh and the massacre of Imperial troops outside the village of Armenius. The sodden swampland, swampland and the sweltering climate, particular in summertide, would endanger the troops if they wore their usual armor. I know a very clever armorer, said Kataria. Kataria. Let's just stick with Kataria. His name is Hazadir, an Argonian who knows the environments our army will be facing. I knew him in Vivek, where he was a slave to the master armorer there, before he moved to the Imperial City as a freedman. We should have him, we should have him design armor and weaponry for the campaign. Minglemere gave a short barking laugh. She wants a slave to design the armor and weaponry for our troops. Sirola Sakis is the finest armorer in the Imperial City, everyone knows that. After much debate, it was finally decided to have both armorers contend for the commission. The council also elected two champions of equal power and pro prowess, Nandor Bered and Rafalas Yule, to battle using the arms and armaments of the real competitors in the struggle. Whichever champion won, the armorer who supplied him would earn the imperial commission. It was decided that Bered would be outfitted by Hazadir and Yule by Sakis. The fight was scheduled to commence in seven days. Sirola Sekas began work immediately. He would have preferred more time, but he recognized the nature of the test. The situation in Armenius was urgent. The Empire had to select their armor quickly, and once selected, the preferred armor had to act swiftly and produce the finest armor and weaponry for the Imperial Army in Black Marsh. It wasn't just the best armor they were looking for, it was the most efficient. Sekas had only begun steaming the half-inch strips of black virgin oak to bend into bands for the flan flanges of the armored joints when there was a knock at his door. His assistant, Fandius, ushered in the visitor. It was a tall reptilian of common markings, a dull green fringed hood, bright black eyes and a dull brown cloak. It was Hazadir, Kataria's preferred armorer. I wanted to wish you the best of luck on the... Is that ebony? It was indeed. Sackus had bought the finest quality ebony weave available in the Imperial City as soon as he heard of the competition and had begun the process of smelting it. Normally, it was a six-month procedure refining the ore, but he hoped that a massive convection oven stoked by white flames born of Magica would shorten the operation to three days. Sackus proudly pointed out the other advancements in his armory. The acidic lime pools to sharpen the blade of the Dai Katana to an unimaginable degree of sharpness, the Akaviri forge and tongues he would use to fold the ebony back and forth upon itself. Hazadir laughed. If you've been to my armory, it's two tiny smoke-filled rooms. The front is a shop. The back is filled with broken armor, some hammers and a forge. That's it. 
that your competition for the millions of gold pieces in Imperial's commission. I'm sure the Empress has some reason to trust you to outfit her troops, said Cyril Sackis kindly. He had, after all, seen the shop and knew that what Hazardir said was true. It was a pathetic workshop in the slums, fit only for the lowliest of adventurers to get their iron daggers and cuirasses repaired. Sackis had decided to make the best quality regardless of the inferiority of his rival. It was his way and how he became the best armor in the Imperial City. Out of kindness and more than a bit of pride, Sackis showed Hazadir how, by contrast, things should be done in a real professional armory. The Argonian acted as an apprentice to Sackis, helping him refine the ebony ore and to pound it and fold it when it cooled. Over the next several days, they worked together to create a beautiful Dai Katana with an edge honed sharp enough to trim a mosquito's eyebrows and chant it with flames along its length by one of the Imperial Battle Mages, as well as a suit of armor of bound wood, leather, silver and ebony to resist the winds of oblivion. On the day of the battle, Sackis, Hazadir and Fandius finished polish polishing the armor and brought in Rephalus Aeul for the fitting. Hazadir left only then, realizing that Nandor Barade would be at his shop shortly to be outfitted. The two warriors met before the Empress and Imperial Council in the arena, which had been flooded slightly to simulate the swampy conditions of Black Marsh. From the moment Sackis saw Yule in his suit of heavy ebony and blazing dai katana and berade in his collection of dusty, rusted lizard scales and spear from Hazadir's shop, he knew who would win. And he was right. The first blow from the dai katana lodged in berade's soft shield as there was no metal trim to deflect it. Before Yule could pull his sword back, Berade let go of the now flaming shield still stuck on the sword and poked at the joints of Yule's ebony armor with his spear. Yule finally retrieved his sword from the ruined shield and slashed at Berade, but his light armor was scaled and angled, and the attacks rolled off into the water, extinguishing the Daikatana's flames. When Berade struck at Yule's feet, he fell into the churn mud and was unable to move. The Empress, out of mercy, called a victor. Hazadir received the commission, and thanks to his knowledge of Argonian battle tactics and weaponry and how best to combat them, he designed implements of war that brought down the insurrection of Armenius. Kataria won the respect of council, and even grudgingly that of Thane Minglomir. Cyrala Sekes went to Morrowind to learn what Hazadir learned there, and was never heard from again. Berade struck at Yule's feet. So Berade was the one who wins, right? I think, yeah. It's kind of funny because we just went to the arena, we fought there, and this is a book about the arena. So that's kind of uh, funny, I guess. Alright. Um, let's go read the other two books. The Waters of Oblivion and then the Wild Elves.